everyone. I'm Kristen. I'm Kayla. And together we are K and, and K, K Create. create. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple of pours for you this evening um, using a nice blue and green color palette. Um, we'll talk about the pores when we uh, get set up to do the painting. But before we get started, we wanted to show you a couple of um, things that we've made that we didn't film. Yeah. Right? So first of all, that. we filmed that. We did film this? I don't think we put it. Oh, we did film it. So a couple of <laughs> videos ago, we did the um, pour on the wood heart. Yep. So it's all finished and it's been resin as you can see it's very shiny um and i just taped a ribbon onto the back for now um, but we do plan to permanently um, affix this ribbon uh, and put a nice bow on it or something so that it can be hung onto the wall um, the back looks really neat the sides are good and it's super shiny i'm, I'm practicing my resin too so yeah <laughs> it's the first couple of fails and then and then uh i did not film this because yes. i i have i practice my dutch pours on my own at night after kayla's asleep usually um because it takes a lot of time prep and i don't want to bore her with all of that stuff uh so i usually do it at night and it's just it gets discouraging after a while because it's a very difficult technique to do. Uh, I've yeah. gone through n numerous hair dryers and That's the funny. attachments and all different um, yeah. mixing of the paints and getting them just right. So I did this one the other night and I'm very proud of it. It's the first one that I think came out um, really well. So there it is. Down a little bit further, Kayla. Okay. Oh, back. <laughs> so I think this is an 18 by 24. This is probably the biggest canvases we use. We don't we don't go big. Um, but I I did go big on this one just because it's easier to blow out a Dutch pour on a bigger canvas. Um, so that's my Dutch pour. And I used um some Pepio iridescence. You can't really see it. Maybe yeah. a little bit there. You can see the shine. But the blue is, is one of the Pebio iridescents, and it's usually pretty shiny. So it was a you know, black and white split background, and then just purples and blues and pearl. So that's my, my most successful Dutch pour so far. Yes. So that, that's encouraging, um, and I am going to keep practicing. And when, um, when Mommy did that, mm -hmm. I was... Not home. Yeah, I was not home. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I did it the same night I filmed uh, the last video, my open cup pour, which also Kayla was not home for. Yes. And so I, I think I did both the same night, but I didn't film the yeah. Dutch pour. Yeah. But maybe next time I will film one. I've had people ask me to film it so that they can see um, how it's done. All right, so we've talked long enough. Uh, we're going to get set up and then we will do our pours. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Hi everyone, we're back. Yeah. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to show you another piece. This is something that Kayla did. She did an open cup and it came out so beautiful that I decided to resin it. She used um, golden iridescent copper. Yeah, iridescent prism copper, pour. some prism pour. That starts with C. Right, that we can't pronounce. Yeah. Um, but this this is her, her her finished product, resin. Yeah, and I use some black. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's very the resin is making it the lights shine off of it, but yeah. I just wanted to show you guys how pretty it was. Yeah, and if mm. so pretty, beautiful, beautiful job. We, didn't, about, we didn't film that one. Yeah, we did. I was about to say something, but then I didn't want to say it anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So Kayla's going to be working on a 12 by 12 inch um, skinny canvas. We tape the back and put the push pins in. Yeah. Um, and she'll go, we'll go over our colors. All right. So first off, we have 
Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics Obsidian. Obsidian. Yes. And that is a deep, dark, charcoal y, um, shimmery color. And also by Deco Art. Also by Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics Sterling Silver. Sterling Silver. So this is the light of silver color. Yeah. And, and dark silver. Yeah, we mix our paint with Liquitex gloss pouring medium. Yes. And Floetrol. Yep. And, and a little bit of water. That's if, what I was just about to say. Yeah. And and again from Decor Americana Decor Metallics. This is the last one. Emerald. Emerald. Beautiful. Shimmery green color. I'm just showing you this. That's fine. Yeah. Next, we have Grumbacker Academy Acrylic Turquoise Green. Turquoise Green. So that is a very lovely yeah. turquoise. And they just ran out, which is sad. I just ran out. <laughs> we could get more. Next, we have Artist Loft Level 1 Aqua Green. So I added some titanium white to this to lighten it up a little bit because I wanted a little bit lighter, light aqua color. So yeah. that's got titanium white in it. Next we have Pebio Studio Acrylics Green Blue Iridescent. Iridescent, yes. Yeah, iridescent green blue. So this is also like an aqua. And I didn't want the aqua green to be too close in color to this, which is also why I chose to lighten it up. Yeah. Next, we have Liquitex Basics Acrylic Phthalo Green. Phthalo Green. Beautiful. Nice green color. Yes. And Next. Finally. Oh wait, finally, we have Grumbacker again. Phthalo Blue. Phthalo Blue. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. Yes. Phthalo Blue from Grumbacher. It's a very nice color. Okay, so those are our colors. Yep. And what um, technique are you going to be doing today, Kayla? Today I am going to be trying for the first time again a wandering slash traveling straight pour. A traveling straight pour. Okay, so do you want me to layer a cup for you? I oh. think you should have your cup layered. Yeah, layered. Okay. Yeah. This size canvas needs about five and a half ounces of paint. Um, both of these paper cups and the plastic cups are about six or seven ounces. So I'm not going to uh, fill it all the way. I'll fill it about three quarters of the way. All right. So we'll use a paper cup so that we can see the layers. Yeah. All right, so we'll start out with the turquoise. Yes. Okay. There's so many colors. Yes. I'm not going to use some of them. That's fine. Use what you want. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, that's fine. We mix. I mixed up a very large cup of black of um, flow artist acrylic. loft flow acrylic. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I'll put that down as a base. All right, and we will probably speed this part up because yeah. Kayla has to get down. Yes, I need to get down. So go ahead and get down. Wandering straight pour. You're gonna go corner to corner? And this to that. Yeah, you don't want to start here and go up? Alright, whatever you want, go. 
Not too close to her. Don't tap your paint off the side. <laughs> really. Oh, it looks beautiful. All right. Try not to get it off the edge. Wow. That looks awesome. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to just grab this stuff that came off the edge just in case. Yeah. I'll put it all the way off the edge. Do some touch-ups later. I did it by accident. That's okay. All right, so let's torch it. Oh, you got some cells coming up already. Yeah. Did you torch this? That's just I know. Show a uh, part of the canvas showing. I torched all the black. All right, I forgot. All right. So now you're really gonna be tilting more towards the corners. Yes. Yes. So first, let's just okay. Let's just get off this. Don't worry about that corner. That can be touched up. There's a tiny, tiny spot of black showing, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna use the pins. So. You're gonna use the pins? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now you, you got a big chunk of paint over there. All right. Nice and slow, good. It is very slowly, so I think you have to speed this up. <laughs> That's all right. My nose is getting very itchy, but I won't resist. <laughs> so not too much. Try not to lose too much of your paint because you have to still cover this whole section of canvas and you dumped a lot of paint. Yeah, I know. All right, we might have to layer another cup. Try to see how much you have, some, how much paint you can get off okay. this side. This looks very nice. It looks awesome. I think you have that much paint left. It's moving a little bit. All right, it's moving a little bit. Stop at any time because you got the color. I think I'm good. You good? Yeah. All right. So do you want to leave it like that or do you want to try to? I think it's good. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of this color and just cover this little black that's in the corner there. How about that? Is that okay, baby? Yeah. Okay. And then also well. I, yes. I wanted to do this, and it already came off. Yep, the black already came off. Yep. I think we got it. I'm just going to touch up your corners a little bit, but that looks beautiful. Thank you. Um, we'll do close-ups at the end. I'm going to get my canvas set up, and we will be back in a second. Yeah. Okay, we are back. Mm -hmm. 
and yep. I have flooded my canvas. Um, so the other day I tried a funnel pour for the first time yes. and it did not come out <laughs> very, um, well. very good at all. So I took the same canvas because it is an um, 11 by 14 gallery wrapped and I didn't want to waste it. I painted it um, with the Artist Flow acrylic and black, let it dry, and then I, now I have flooded it. Artist Loft. Artist Loft Flow acrylic, yes. I have flooded it also with the black um flow acrylic yeah, again. again yeah so um i'm gonna i'm going to take a little different approach this time last time i took a big funnel and i did one right in the middle this time i'm gonna take a little bit smaller funnel and i'm gonna do two separate funnels um, one on kind of each side of the canvas here and see if that makes any difference all right so i'm gonna start out with some of the Pebio iridescent just a little bit nice yeah and I want to make kind of thin layers mm, don't push it that hard no I'm not pushing that hard but okay. I don't want it to come out either next I'm going to go in with some phthalo blue oh nice thank you then I'm going to go in with some silver, silver. Okay, then I'm going to come in with some of the hmm, uh, phthalo green. Ooh, we're using two phthalo colors. Yeah, and I'm trying to make layers now. Okay, I thought you were trying to do dirty colors. Sometimes. No, I'm trying to layer it. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to come in with some of the obsidian just to break it up a little bit. Use whatever you want. Yeah. And then some turquoise. Yeah, turquoise is a very good color. Very good. Yeah. Very, very. And then I think I'm going to come in with just a little bit more of this light aqua green. We didn't use that before. Oh, I didn't? Okay. No. It's coming out. That's okay. All right. Like and then emerald. some of the emerald. Ooh, emerald. Yeah, that is pretty. I didn't use the emerald or the aqua green. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back in with the phthalo. Phthalo. Blue. Phthalo blue. I'm seeing from the camera like, what it looks like. And then some of the, hmm, silver. Ooh, phthalo silver. Nice. And then some of the Pebio iridescent. And then some, hmm, phthalo green. And I'll finish it off with some of the light <laughs> aqua green. Light the aqua green. All right. Well, that's a full funnel. Okay. So now we're gonna lift up and down and see what happens. Do it a little bit slower than before. Keep it up a little bit longer. Well, my goal is to have the concentric rings. So I can see the rings. They're like outlined in the obsidian, which is really cool. Yeah. Looks okay. beautiful, Mama. Not too. Oh, the funnel looks awesome. Let's check out the funnel. Looks so cool. I know. All right. So cool. So now I'm gonna do another one.
Oh boy. Ooh. All right, let's give this a go again. Wee. 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 I'm gonna have a lot of paint on this Wee. canvas. Wee. <laughs> you like that, Kayla? <laughs> Kayla is adding the sound effects for this evening's video. Yes. And again, you can see the circles of the obsidian. I love it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Look at that funnel. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my God. Okay, so. It's so pretty. Let me move all my cups out of the way. Oh, wow. We used a lot of paint today. Yes. But that's all right. All right, six, so let's seven, eight let's, colors. let's torch it. We used eight colors today. Aren't you alive? Eight colors. I, I, I meant a maze. I meant a maze. A maze. maze. Right. A maze. <laughs> so I think I'm. I don't know if no. I should leave this leave the center the way it is. Yes. You don't think I should poke no, it? No, no. I'm no, gonna poke no, it. No. There. See, that's better. Because that little tiny circle is going to be a big circle. And I just want it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does look better. That's yeah. cool. The yeah. second one looks so cool. The middle looks so cool in the second one. Yeah. So, okay. Bah, 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 bah. All right. So let's Time to tilt, tilt this out. baby out. There's a lot of paint on here. Woo. Mm -hmm. Tilton, Tilton, yes. <laughs> let's, let's get to Tilton. Let's get to Tilton. Let's open up these rings a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to go super slow, which is hard for me to do because... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a fast tilter and I have to control myself. Yes. You can do it. I can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yay. <laughs> Let's get back to center. All right. No, I'm actually going to put this. I'm going to not use the pins. I'm going to grab it. Ooh, go to do. Yeah. Well, it, it's heavier when you just grab it by the pins. I know. It's way heavier. This is much easier. Wee. So I'm just, tro I'm slowly trying to stretch this out. That's. To stretch these. The cells are popping down. There's, there's some cells popping up, yep. And some are just doing like this. I'm just trying to go very slowly. Some and cells, not quite go over the edge yet. Some cells are, some cells are just coming under the paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And popping up. I see some obsidian cells. Yes. In the and second some one. emerald cells. Yeah. Yeah. Not so many silver cells, which is strange to me. There's some. There's the some. Yeah. yeah. Tiny ones. Yeah, very tiny. There's also there's big one. Well, never mind. Those are obsidian. Uh huh. <laughs> those are obsidian. You can see some silver circles in the second one, and a little bit in the first one. Yeah, a little bit. And a couple of multicolored ones. Light. Like there's half obsidian and half emerald. Oh, yeah, I see that. And also half silver. Yeah. There's like three colored ones. It's, and then there's... It's those deco art metallics that give you the pretty cells. Then I see um, the, the emerald and the light aqua. Yeah. And some cells. Just... All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go off this corner. Oh, there's an, there's an, another herbs. I think that's obsidian and the thalo. Oh, I'm gonna add just a little bit more no, black here to help it flow. That's emerald. Because it's sticking a little bit. 
The silver starter looks like yeah, ivory pearl. Looks like pearl. Wow. Nice and ivory. Yeah. The color is forming different colors. Yeah. And I'm bringing my paint, the weight of my paint, back down to the center. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go up off of this top corner over here. Mm -hmm. I'm just adding sound effects. I see that. <laughs> You're doing an excellent So what do I like? What do I don't like? Um, I you love like this it. side. You like it, don't like um, I'm not loving time. this because it looks a little bit muddy. It's nice. You like this part? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of that side that, and there's a lot of paint still on here. So I want to bring a little. Yeah, I don't I want to get a little bit of it off, so I'm going to... There's a lot of extra paint. Yeah, I'm going to actually bring the weight of my paint right to the edge here. And when I say paint, I meant space. Some of that off. I don't want to break up that little line of obsidian there. that to come off right over there yeah that part off you go yeah. Ooh, some pretty little green cells just kind of popped up really yeah look right there and there oh, it looks so cute it's so cute and let's open that up a little oh yeah i think that's much better yeah, it looks way better. Yeah? Yes. Okay. What do we think? I think it looks good. You like it, Kayla? Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. I mean, it's amazing how using the same colors yeah. gives you more of a, of a blue concentration and, and then a more green on this side. But um, I think that's it. I think I'm done. Although, I don't know about... No, they look nice. Those cells right there? Yeah. But this still looks dirty. It does. It does look dirty. You it think I should try to get a little bit of that off? Yeah. Yeah. Kayla agrees. The obsidian made a little tiny, 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 tiny cells. Yeah. And they made it look muddy. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> that was loud. So I'm just going to try to get a little bit of this corner off. It's coming off. I know. Got to move slow. The paint moves pretty fast to me. See, I'm just, I'm trying to push those cells right off the corner. But I don't want to lose my blue. So I'm going to stop right there and bring it back.
I already got some paint on my hands. You got some paint on you? Yes. That's okay. So it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I can wash my hands. I'm actually going to take a little bit off the top here. A little of that blue. Take some more off the top there. Okay. And you just play with your composition until you're happy with the where the paint rests. And I think that's going to do it for me. Yeah. What do you think, baby? You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks awesome. Thanks, baby. Again, you can't really see the silver, though. Yeah, bummer. you can't really see the silver too much. Bummer. At least there's a giant thing right there. Yes, that's true. All right, so I'm going to touch up my sides and edges, and then we will bring you in for close-ups of um, each of our pieces. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. We would love that. Like um, and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Um, we will be back in a sec and we'll show you the close-ups. Okay, so this is Kayla's mm -hmm. Wandering Straight Pour. Wandering or traveling. Traveling. Anything that you prefer. Right, and she did it diagonally. Yes. So she's got all these beautiful lines. diagonal lines from corner to corner. And the colors are just beautiful. This area right here looks awesome. Thanks. They look like peacocks feathers. They do. Even and as you can the... see, the shimmer from the silver. Yeah. yeah. Even on and the wall. And then this part is really cool too. The reflection on the wall, you can also see the stripes. Yeah. Which is awesome. So Kayla did an excellent job with her traveling straight pour. Okay, and then here's my double funnel pour. You could see it on the wall. Mm -hmm. So you could see that there are two definite distinctive sides to this painting. One is more green and one is it's more blue. blue. But the cool the part about this is you get all of these neat looking multicolored cells like over here we have the blue mixing with the green mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of silver there and that one you can see and look at that right there a little silver one and then in the middle of a green one and then there's one that there is like the blue and then there's silver and then there's obsidian and then there's silver yeah so you get nice Cool like looking it. ombre cells. Yeah. Multicolored. Multicolored. And, like the, and then the striping from the the technique of lifting, you get the the circles, the concentric circles, that when you stretch them, leave the lines. And you got all these cute little cells popping up in there too. This looks better than the other one. This does look better than my first try. That is true. Yeah. So I'm much more pleased with the way this one came out. Yeah. Because okay. you were doing too fast on the last one. I was going too fast. It got all muddied. Yeah. So this one's much better. Okay. Thank you, so Thank you guys again. Um, Thank you. Like and subscribe, please. And we will see you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.